All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with breathing exercise, pranayama, deep breathing for your lungs and respiratory system. Please listen carefully. Inhale through the nose, exhale by your mouth, always through your throat, your nose and mouth. They're only a passageway. Breathe as long as possible, as slow as possible, as deep as possible, and through the nose out by the mouth, always through the throat. Start, please, feet together nicely on the line. Toes, heels, touching. All 10 fingers interlaced underneath your chin. Keep a full grip. Always your knuckles against your chin like glue. Relax shoulders. Look in the mirror. Swallow a couple of times. Concentrate. Meditate. Inhale. Head down. Elbows up and start, please. Full lungs. Exhale. Head up. Very slowly. Push your head back. Way back. Eyes open. Empty your lungs. Inhale, head down. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Suck it in, tightening up. Hold it in, full lungs. Exhale, head up, look back on the exhale. Spine straight, no backward bending. Just the arms and head move. Elbows together. Inhale, head down. Low, slow flow, in through the back of your throat. The slower you go, the better you do. Full lungs. Exhale, head up, look back. All 10 fingers should be in our lock grip tight. Stretch your elbows more forward. Inhale, head down. Suck your stomach in more. The more you suck your stomach in, the more you learn to use 100% of your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. Look back on the exhale. Spine straight, no collapsing the chest, no hunchback. Just your arms and head should move. Elbows together. Inhale and head down. Now fill your lungs beyond your current capacity. Lift your elbows up towards the ceiling as high as possible. Fill your lungs as deep as possible. Exhale, head up, look back as far as you can. Keep the body weight on your heels. Little bit hips forward towards the mirror, tightening up. Contraction, solid, one piece. Inhale, head down, one, two, three. Eyes open, four, five, six, fold it. Exhale, head up, keep your eyes open. It is normal to get dizzy. You're bringing a lot of fresh oxygen into the body. Now goes together. Inhale, head down. Nice and relax the shoulders. Elbows up towards the ceiling as high as possible until your shoulders hurt a little bit. Exhale, head up, look back. Keep your knuckles against your chin like glue. Use your hands to push your head back more and more. Neck might hurt. Empty your lungs. Inhale, head down. Low, slow flow. Inhale through the back of your throat. Nose and mouth are only a passageway. Exhale, head up, look back. Grip tighter, 10 fingers interlock, thumbs included. Push your head back a little bit more. Empty your lungs. Inhale, head down. This one and one more. These should be the biggest ones so far. Eyes open so you don't get dizzy. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Look back, arms and head should be synchronized and coordinated. Exactly six seconds. Not before, not after. Stretch your elbows more forward. Inhale, head down. Last one, biggest one of the first set. Waking up, warming up respiratory, circulatory system to prepare you for class. Exhale, head up, look back. All the ear out and spine straight. Stomach in more, depression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles. And that's enough, arms down by your side. Very nice, relax your arms, relax your shoulders, swallow a couple of times. Second set, keep your feet together, toes, heels touching, 10 fingers interlaced back underneath your chin, full grip. Spine straight, body weight and heels. Look at yourself in the mirror, concentrate, meditate. Inhale, head down, elbows up, start again. Full lungs, exhale, head up. Exhale, through the back of your throat as slow and as deep as possible. Stretch your elbows forward. Inhale, head down. Six seconds, should be synchronized and coordinated. Everything goes together at the same time, not before, not after, hold it. Exhale, head up, look back, same on the exhale, six seconds exactly. And empty your lungs. Inhale, head down, keep the body weight on your heels, thighs contraction. Stretch up, lift up out of the waist, full lungs. Exhale, head up, look back, keep the lift and stretch in your spine. A little bit of hips forward towards the mirror, keep your hips tight, solid, concrete, one piece, elbows together. Inhale, head down. Keep the body weight on your heels. Just the arms and head should move. Synchronized, coordinated, exactly six seconds. Exhale, head up, look back. The more you empty your lungs, the more room you make for fresh oxygen. Stomach and more depression of the abdominal wall contract the abdominal muscles. Inhale, head down. 
Stomach, stomach, stomach. Suck it in, tightening it up, hold it. Chest up, more. Rib cage, visible in the front mirror, whole lungs. Exhale, head up, look back. Keep your eyes open, look further back down the wall. Relax your neck, push your head back more and more. And elbows together. Inhale, head down. Synchronize and coordinate the arms and head should go together in exactly six seconds, not before, not after, full lung. Exhale, push your head back with the help of your hands. Keep your knuckles against your chin. Bring your palms, wrists, forearms, elbows together, forward towards the mirror. Inhale, head down. Stretch up out of the waist, lift your rib cage up, stretch up, stomach in, full lungs. Exhale, head up, look back as far as you can. Keep the body weight on your heels and elbows together. Inhale, head down. Open your chest, open your ribs by lifting your elbows up as much as possible. Exhale, head up, look back, keep your chest up. No collapsing. Keep your chest up, no backward bending. Empty your lungs. Inhale, head down, this one and one more. Make these the biggest ones. Fill your lungs beyond your current capacity right here, hold it. Exhale, head up, look back all the air out. Stomach in more depression of the abdominal wall. Contract the abdominal muscles. Empty your lungs. Inhale, head down. Last one, biggest one, all on your own. Exhale, head up, look back. And that's enough, everybody. Arms down by your side. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders. Throughout the rest of the class, breathe normal. Normal breathing in yoga. You breathe in and out through your nose, mouth closed, don't hold your breath. And I'll remind you a bunch of times. Half one pose with hands to feet pose. Ardha Chandrasana with Padasasana. Everyone together. Feet together nicely on the line. Arms over the head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers. Thumbs crossed. Hold it with a nice tight grip. Hands, palms should be touching each other like glue up to the wrists. And Isabel, make sure your thumbs are cross for a nice tight grip. Now stretch up to the ceiling, right and left several times. Right, left, right, left, right, left. You should feel stretching in both sides of your body, all the way up to the fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. And that's enough, everyone. When you can't stretch anymore, come on up, stop in the middle. Elbows locked, arms always touching with the ears, no gaps between your biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips forward towards the mirror a little bit to open your hips and pelvis. Upper body back a couple of inches, opening up your chest and rib cage throughout the posture. Maximum body weight on your heels. Arms and head back, chin up. Concentrate one spot on yourself in the mirror. Don't even blink your eyes. Take a deep breath, full lungs, full breathing. Stretch up out of the waist one more time. Try and touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line. Slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over inside out, from the bones of the skin, the fingertips to your toes. Hips more forward, upper body back more, maximum body weight on your heels. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror, keep both hips in one line. Right shoulder forward, opening your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push, come down, push, come down and push. Inhale, breathing in, gently come up, stop in the middle. Arms and head back, chin up. Concentrate one spot on yourself in the mirror, don't blink your eyes. Take another deep breath, full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch up out of the waist one more time, go and touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight lines, slowly bend your body to the left without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right, beyond your flexibility, you're trying to create tremendous stretching feeling in the right side of your body. All over inside out, from the bones of the skin, fingertips to your toes, breathe only through your nose. Hips more forward, upper body back, maximum body weight on your heels. Push your right hip forward to keep your both hips in one line. Left shoulder forward. Open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push. Come down, push. Come down, push. Inhale, breathing in gently. Come up, stop in the middle. Next is a backward bend. Everyone together, your back is gonna hurt. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards from the coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back, try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on your heels. Relax your head back, look back. Take a deep breath, push your stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward towards the mirror. Arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, breathing and slowly come up, stop in the middle. 
Next is hands to feet pose, Padasasana. Bend your knees, put your hands on the floor in front of you. Relax your neck, move your hips several times, right and left, right and left, right and left. It's your first U-turn from the back bend to the forward bend. Gotta be careful your spine's not warmed up. Move your hips right and left to get your lower back loose, comfortable, easy, and flexible. Next is a hands to feet pose. Keep your feet together. Grab your heels from behind. You can bend your knees to grab the heels. Try to step on all five fingers of each hand. Little baby fingers touching side by side. Thumbs with your index fingers. Bend your elbows and put your elbows behind your legs on the calf muscles. Please don't lose this grip. Pull it with a nice and tight grip. Pull on your heels as hard as possible. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on your legs below the knees. From the side, you should look like a Japanese ham sandwich, no gaps anywhere. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock the knees, creating tremendous stretching feeling of pain sensation all over underneath your legs inside out from the bones to the skin, the coccyx to the toes with your happy smiling face. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of the stretching. Pull your heels, push your knees back, lock the knees. Exhale breathing, lock the knees. Roll forward and lock the knees. Touch your face on your legs. Pull again, last chance. Lock the knees, lock the knees, lock the knees. Inhale, breathing and gently come up. Put your arms and head together. Arms down side, relax. Breathing normal, that's mouth closed. Inhale, exhale, in and out through the nose only. Second set, keep your toes and heels together nicely. Everyone together, arms over the head, sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed, hold it with a nice tight grip. Hands, palms should be touching each other light and blue, up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. Push your hips forward towards the mirror a little bit, upper body back, maximum body weight on the heels. Arms and head back, keep your chin up. Concentrate one spot on yourself in the mirror, don't blink your eyes. Take a deep breath, full lungs, full breathing, stretch up harder, go and touch the ceiling, keep that stretch. Slowly bend your body to the right, come down to the right. Come all the way down to where you were, without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility, creating tremendous stretching feeling in the left side, all over inside out, from the bones of the skin, the fingertips to your toes. Hips more forward, upper body back more, maximum body weight on your heels. Push your left hip forward, both hips in one line, right shoulder forward, open up your chest, get your arms back, arms back, chin up, look at yourself in the front mirror, come down, push, push, push. Inhale, breathing, and gently come up, stop in the middle. Take another deep breath, full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch up out of the waist one more time, go and touch the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the left. Come all the way down without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously, that's without stopping. Push your hips even more beyond your flexibility. Come all the way down, create a tremendous stretch in the right side. Hips more forward. Upper body back, maximum body weight in your heels. Push your right hip forward, both hips in one line. Left shoulder forward more, open up your chest, arms back. Come down, push, come down, push, come down, push. Inhale, breathing and gently come up, stop in the middle. Second backward bend, keep your eyes open. Mouth closed, take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes, look at the floor behind you, and arms back, immediately try and touch the wall behind you. Get your arms back, sit and backward bend your total spine, your lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back, try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on your heels. Take a deep breath, push your stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward towards the mirror. Arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, breathing in, slowly come up, stop in the middle. Next is hands to feet pose, Padasasana, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor in front of you. Move your hips again several times, right, left, right, left, right, left. Second you turn from the backward bend to the forward bend, trying to get your lower back nice, loose, comfortable, easy, and flexible, still you're not 100% warmed up yet. And second set, please, hands to feet pose, keep your feet together, grab the heels again, you can grab, bend your knees to grab the heels, step on all five fingers of each hand, little baby fingers touching side by side, keep your thumbs with your index fingers, elbows behind your legs on the calf muscles, hold it with a nice and tight grip, don't lose the grip, pull on your heels as much as possible, stretch your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor, touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on your legs below the knees, from the side, no gaps anywhere, no room for light space or air. Slowly, 
Continuously push your knees back as much as possible. Try to lock your legs, or lock your knees with your body against your thighs. And more body weight forward. The more you roll forward, it's easier to push your knees back a little bit more. Pull harder on your heels. Try and get the top of your head closer to the top of the feet. Touch your face, lock the knees. Roll forward, lock the knees. Last chance, push the knees back, lock the knees, lock the knees. Inhale, breathing and Slowly, gently come up with your arms and head together. Arms down, relax. Next is awkward pose, Utkatasana, right foot, step to the right, six inches apart, heels invisible behind your toes, exactly six inches between your toes and your heels, it should look like you're standing on the letter H, don't move your feet throughout the rest of the posture, bring your arms out parallel to the floor, keep your all five fingers together, touching each other, elbows locked, triceps muscles, nice and tight in contraction, nothing loose, nothing hanging, stretch your arms forward, you're trying to touch the mirror, exhale breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in, sit down, feet flat position until your hips touch a chair, Spine, straight to begin with, 100% body weight on your heels. Lift your chest up, bend your total spine backward bending, bring your upper body back. Suck your stomach in, compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles, suck it in, tighten up, hold it. Rib cage visible in the mirror, open the knees, keep six inches inside. Heels, toes, knees and hands, lean back, fall back, you're trying to fall down backwards, changing them up. Keep your arms there. Second part, concentrate and meditate. Come all the way on your toes, maximum length of ballerina. Focus one point in the mirror, keep length, you lose the balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head. Pull upper body up towards the ceiling. Imagine I'm pulling your hair towards the ceiling like natural human traction. Sit down on top of your toes, spine, straight position. Start to finish throughout the posture. You should feel your hips and head leaning against the wall. Sit down halfway until your hips are in the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back. Higher on your toes, knees up towards the ceiling. Hips should not go below the chair you're sitting on the chair. Inhale, breathing and gently come up. Keep your arms there. Third part, come on your toes a little bit. Bring your knees together. Suck your stomach in. Spine straight position. Exhale, breathing. Sit down as slow as possible. At least 10 counts. All the way down, all the way down, leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine up to the ceiling. Keep a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Keep your knees together and forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs. Spine straight, 90 degree angles from the side of your body should look like a box. Take a deep breath, knees together. Slowly, gently come back up. Right foot comes back to the place, arms by your side, relax, don't move. Second set, right foot, step to the right, six inches apart, heels, invisible behind your toes, should look like you're standing on the letter H, don't move your feet throughout the rest of the posture. Bring your arms out parallel to the floor. Keep all five fingers together, touching each other. Elbows locked, triceps muscles, nice and tight contraction, nothing loose or hanging. Stretch your arms forward, you're trying to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in, sit down, feet flat position until your hips touch a chair. Spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight on the heels, Lift your chest up, bend your total spine back for bending, bring your upper body back. And suck your stomach in, compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in, tighten up, hold it, rib cage visible in the mirror. Keep six inches inside, heels, toes, knees, and hands. Lean back, fall back, if you're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, and slowly come up. Keep your arms there. Second part, concentrate, meditate. Come all the way on your toes, maximum like a ballerina. Focus one point in the mirror, don't lose your balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head, everything up, and sit down on top of your toes. Right away, sit your hips into the chair. So you sit into the chair, helps with the balance. Get your hips into the chair, upper body leaning back. Higher on your toes, knees up towards the ceiling. Get your knees up, knees up, upper body back. Hips should not go below the chair you're sitting on the chair. Inhale, breathing gently, come up. Keep your arms there. Third part, come on your toes a little bit. Bring your knees together. Suck your stomach in, spine straight position. Exhale, breathing. Sit down as slow as possible. All the way down, all the way down. Leaning against the wall. Sit all the way down to your heels. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling, keeping a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Keep your knees together and forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs. Spine straight. 90 degree angles from side your body looks like a box. Once you have your balance, you can bounce a couple of times. Bounce, bounce, and bounce. All right, hold it there, knees together. Inhale, breathing in. Slowly, gently come back up. And right foot back to the place. Arms down by your side. Relax, don't move. It's totally fine to take a rest if you need to. If you need to take a seat, take a seat. You want to make sure you can breathe normally in class. When normal breathing in class, if you can breathe in and out through your nose, you're doing good. If you have to gasp for air, it means you need to rest. Okay? Next is Eagle Pose. Garasana. Look in the mirror. Identify your arms. Which one's right? Which one's left? Don't mix them up. 
Bring your arms over the head sideways. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm. Cross your arms each other, twist like ropes. Hands, palms together in front of your face. Thumbs towards your face. Little fingers towards the mirror. Bring your right under the left. Other way. You got it. Now try and get your palms together best you can. You're close. Pull your elbows down towards the floor to get your fingertips to go below your nose. Yes, suck your stomach in, sit into the chair. Arch your upper body back, stay down there. Lift your right leg over your left leg as high as possible. Cross your legs each other, twist like ropes. Bring your right foot around your left calf muscle. All five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Twist like ropes, sit down more. Arch your upper body back, no gap between the foot and the calf. Bring your knees to the right. Upper body to the left to bring your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If your foot's coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, body back more. Suck your stomach in, pull your elbows down more, upper body back at the end. Change, come up, arms over your head. Bring your left arm underneath your right arm. Cross the arms each other, twist like ropes, hands, palms together in front of your face, thumbs towards your face, little fingers towards the mirror. One more time, Jamari, other arm, right under, left under the right. If you cannot get your palms together, interlace your fingers. Pull your elbows down to get your fingertips to go below your nose. They should not go higher than your nose. Suck your stomach in, sit into the chair. Arch your upper body back, stay down there. Lift your left leg over your right leg as high as possible. Cross your legs each other, twist like ropes. Bring your left foot around the right calf. All five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Twist like ropes, sit down more. Arch your upper body back, no gap between the foot and the calf. Bring your knees to the left, bring your upper body to the right. To align the feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line. If your foot's coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, body back more. Suck your stomach in, pull your elbows down more. Upper body back at the end. Change, come up, arms over your head. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm. Cross your arms each other, hands, palms together in front of your face. Pull your elbows down. Get your fingertips to go below your nose. Switch them up, Isabel. Suck your stomach in, sit into the chair. You had it right the first time. Arch your upper body back, stay down there, and lift your right leg over your left leg as high as possible. The higher you lift your leg on your thigh, you make more space in your hips to get your foot around the calf. Twist like rope, sit down more, and arch your upper body back. Eliminate any gap between the foot and the calf. Toes down towards the ankle. Yeah, bring your knees to the right, bring your upper body to the left. It's like a wheel alignment for the skeletal system, aligning hips, knees, ankles. Sit down more, pull your elbows down more, upper body, back at the end. Change, come up, arms over the head. Last one, left side, bring your left arm underneath your right arm. Cross the arms each other, hands, palms together in front of your face. Pull your elbows down, get your fingertips to go below your nose, no higher than your nose. Suck your stomach in, sit into the chair. Arch your upper body back, stay down there. Lift your left leg over your right leg as high as possible. Cross, leg, cross your legs, twist. Twist your legs, sit down more. The more you sit, make more range of motion to get your foot around the calf. Eventually all five toes visible in the front mirror. Bring your knees, left upper body, right, aligning the 14 major joints of the skeletal system, seven on each side. Sit down more, pull the elbows down more, upper body back at the end. Change, come up, arms over your head. Arms down by your side. It's party time, let's have some water. Nice work, everyone. How you doing, Jamari? It's tough, right? It's tough. I know, I'm looking out for you. It's tough work. <laughs> it sure is. The more you come, it becomes manageable. I'm not gonna lie, it never gets any easier. It's a good thing, you don't want it to. But it does become manageable. And the main reason for that is you learn how to breathe in yoga class. Yeah. It's normal to try really hard to hold the breath. That's what we do a lot of times working out, right? And it serves us for working out. Not in yoga. <laughs> Ask anyone. <laughs> We've all been there. <sighs> all right. Start again, everybody. In the middle of your towel, toes and heels together nicely at the line in one line. For standing, head to knee pose. Dhani Mani Janusharasana. Wipe off your hands. Shift your weight into your left leg. Grab the right foot in front of you. All ten fingers interlock nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Just below your toes. From start to finish, focus one spot on your left knee in the front mirror. Make sure your left leg's absolutely locked. That was a good start. Left leg should be solid, concrete, one piece like a lamppost, unbroken. You don't have the knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Right leg lift up, stretch forward towards the mirror. That's it. Keep reaching for the foot over and over. That might be 
how you're working in the posture today. Take a deep breath, continuously kick your right heel forward towards the mirror so you can turn your foot in from the ankle towards your face, all five toes turning in. If the static knee's bending, the posture's not started yet, take your heel out, turn your toes in. Try and get your both knees locked from the side like a perfect upside down letter L like Linda. If both knees are locked, then still you can balance there comfortably, then only bend your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows touch your calf. Eventually, your elbows go below the calf. Change, slowly come up. Good, nice, solid focus. Wipe off your hands, shift your weight into your right leg. Grab the left foot in front of you, all 10 fingers, interlock, thumbs included, and head up from start to finish. Look at your right knee in the front mirror, concentrate, meditate, think very deeply about your right knee, don't move your eyes, don't blink your eyes, don't bend the knee, lock it, suck your stomach in, nothing loose or hanging. Evenly uh, distribute the body weight, all of your standing foot equally in the same foot, roll to the side. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, left leg lift up. Stretch forward towards the mirror until your left leg is exactly parallel to the floor, not higher or lower. Right leg lock. Take a deep breath. Kick your left heel forward towards the mirror. Turn your foot in from the ankle towards your face, all five toes turning in. If the standing knee's bending, you gotta push it back over and over. Lock the knee if your both knees are locked and you can balance there, no knees. Bend your elbows down towards the floor slowly until your elbows touch your calf and eventually your elbows go below the calf. Slowly come up. And do the back bend for a second. Relax your back. Second set, start again. Feet together, wipe off your hands. Shift your weight into the left leg. Grab the right foot in front of you, three inches below your toes. Ten fingers should be in our locked position, just below the toes. Nice and tight grip, don't lose the grip. And from start to finish, concentrate and meditate only on your left knee in the front mirror. Make sure it's absolutely locked to begin with. You have no knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Right leg lift up. Stretch forward towards mirror. Until your right leg's parallel to the floor, no higher or lower. That's it. Keep reaching for the foot. Take a deep breath. Kick your right heel forward. Turn your toes in. Flex your foot back. If your standing knee's bending, you've got to push it back. If the both knees are locked, you got it. Bend your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows touch your calf. And when the elbows go below the calf, slowly bring your body down, head down, and the standing leg, keep pushing it back as you kick your right heel forward. Touch your forehead to the knee. That's it, don't let the heel drop. Change and come up. Feet together, arms down. Good effort, wipe off your hands. Shift your weight into your right leg. Stomach in, grab the left foot in front of you, three inches below your toes. Hold it with a nice and tight grip, don't lose the grip. From start to finish, concentrate, meditate only on your right knee in the front mirror. Make sure it is locked. Distribute the body weight on your right foot equally in the same. Stomach in, nothing loose, nothing hanging. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Left leg lift up. Stretch your left leg, heel forward. Take a deep breath, kick, kick, kick the heel forward. Turn your toes in. You've got to learn to stretch Achilles tendon above the heel. Create tremendous stretching underneath your both legs. If your both knees are locked, bend your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows touch your calf muscle. When your elbows go below the calf muscle, Slowly bring your body down, head down. Tuck your chin to your chest, go this side, that's it, yes. Use your extra strength, touch your forehead. Now kick the heel forward, lock the knee. One more time, lock the knee. That's close, change and come up. All right, feet together, arms down. It's good. Push your hips, drop your head back. And arms down. <laughs> it's very normal in this posture. Everything's good, you bend the elbow, something else bends. So you get that straight, you try and touch your forehead, your knee, something else falls apart. It's totally normal. Gives us something to work on day after day. <laughs> it's just the body improving and changing. All right, nice and standing, vocal and pose. Dandi Manu Dhanurasana. Bring your right hand out, palm up, elbow touching your body. Say, Mama, give me money. Mama, give me money. All right. Turn your hand out to the right. You're holding money in your hand. Don't turn your hand, don't drop your money. Grab your right foot behind you. Hold it from the inside. Right at the ankle, you got it with a nice and tight grip. Thumb with the index finger. The left arm up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder. Look at your left knee in the front mirror. Make sure it's locked and bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. You're trying to touch your front mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up toward the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your right leg up as much as possible. You should see your foot coming over the top of your head in the mirror. Two feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back, right shoulder behind your left, invisible in the mirror. Charge your left arm forward, touch the mirror, touch your shoulder into the chin, scapula coming out of the body. In other words, two shoulders should be in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal in the same 50-50. If you're losing the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more, stretch forward more, kick more, kick harder, go forward, touch the mirror, come down, kick up one more time, and change. Good one, Tracy. Feet together, arms down, relax. I know, heart rate's coming up, that is by design. 
So in between, be still, breathe deep. Left side, left hand out, palm up, elbow touching your body. Turn your hand out to the left, grab your left foot behind you, hold on to it from the inside right at the ankle, all five fingers together, don't lose this grip. Right arm up in front of your chin, close to the shoulder. Look only at your right knee, make sure it is locked. Start to finish, bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror, you try and touch front mirror. Simultaneously, kick your left leg back and up toward the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your left leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming over the top of your head in the mirror. Two feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back that shoulder behind your right invisible mirror. Charge your right arm forward, shoulder forward, under your chin, scapula coming out of the body. In other words, two shoulders should be in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal to the same, 50-50. Looks good, Sham. Kick more and harder. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Keep stretching that arm forward. Now kick more, come down, stretch forward, touch the mirror, kick up one more time. Change, come up. Feet together, arms by your side. Second set, right hand out, palm up, elbow touching your body. Turn your hand out to the right, grab your right foot behind you, hold on to it from the inside, at the ankle, five fingers together, thumb with the index finger, don't lose the grip. Left arm up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder, left leg locked, bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror, you're trying to touch front mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Slowly come down, continuously come down, get your abdomen and chest parallel to the floor, looking good. Kick your right leg up, your foot overhead. You should see your foot coming over the top of your head in the front mirror, two feet in one line. Kick, back, right shoulder behind left, stretch your left arm forward. Now stretch your shoulder forward more, shoulder forward more. That's it. Come down, kick more, and kick up one more time. That's a good one. Change and come up. Feet together, arms down by your side. Left side, left hand out, palm up, elbow touching your body, bring your head out to the left, grab the left foot behind you, hold on to it from the inside, right at the ankle, all five fingers together, please don't lose this grip. Right arm, up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder, right leg locked, bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward, charge forward, go and touch your front mirror, simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling, come down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel, continuously keep kicking, that continuously, that's it, keep kicking, your left leg, up as much as possible, point your toes, and kick your left leg up as much as possible, two feet in one line, kick and stretch equal in the same 50-50, you gotta charge your right arm forward more. Now shoulder forward more, go and touch the mirror, yeah, get the shoulder under your chin, two shoulders in one line, come down, kick and stretch, body down, kick up one more time. And change, slowly come up. Feet together, arms down. And keep the heart rate up one more posture. Step to the back of your towel, everyone, for Tula Dandasana Balancing Stick Pose. This is a 10 second posture only. So the moment you hear my clap, step forward. You have to make up your mind to use your 100% strength in half a second. If you're late, the posture's over. Feet together nicely. Arms over the head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. Stretch your arms up like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Chin up, body back, couple of inches. Right leg step forward, a big step. Walk both knees, come down. Arms and head together until your whole body. Arms, head, legs, everything is parallel to the floor from the side. You should look like a capital letter T, like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Bring your body down, leg up, come down, leg up, chest down, leg up, left leg up. Walk the knee, point your toes, stretch, 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 change, come up. Very nice, arms back, chin up. Take another deep breath, stretch up one more time, try and touch the ceiling, left leg, step forward, a big step, lock both knees, come down, arms and head together until your whole body, arms, head, leg, everything is parallel to the floor. Bring your body down, leg up, come down, leg up, keep your chin up, look forward. Look for your left foot in the front side mirror, stretch your arm forward, try and touch the mirror, make your shoulders hurt, scapula coming out of the body, stretch more. Change, come up, and arms down by your side, relax. Second set, feet together nicely, arms over the head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Stretch your arms up, try and touch the ceiling, no gap between arms and head, chin up, body back. Right leg step forward, a big step. Lock both knees, come down with your arms and head together. Come down with every muscle, tighten contraction, nothing loose or hanging. Bring your body down, get your leg up, chest down, leg up, leg up, leg up. Lock the knee, point your toes. Stretch your arms more forward, go forward, touch the mirror, take a natural human tug of war, stretch, stretch, stretch. Nice kitty, change, come up. Arms back, body back. Take another deep breath, stretch up, and left leg step forward. Lock both knees, come down with your arms and head together. Keep your biceps with your ears. There shouldn't be no gap between the arms and the head. Every muscle tighten contraction, the tighter you are, the lighter you are. Bring your chest down, a little bit more leg up. 
Bonnie down leg up, that's it. Hold it there, stretch, 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 change, come up. And arms down by your side. Good stuff. All right, guys, take a step to the left side of your towel for standing, separate legs, stretching. Dandi Mana Vibhakta Padapashi Muttanasana. Start with your feet together on the line, toes, heels touching. Everyone together, arms over the head sideways. Right leg step to the right, a big step, four feet minimum over your towel. Immediately, arms parallel to the floor, heels in one line, little bit pigeon toe your feet, arms parallel. Suck your stomach in. Exhale, breathing, slowly bend your upper body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Keep your chin up, looking in the mirror, knees locked. Grab your heels from the outside, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Thumbs should be with the index fingers. As a beginner, we can't grab the heels yet. Grab the outsides of your feet. Pull on your heels as hard as possible. Chin up, roll forward like a wheel. Try to touch your forehead on the floor in between your feet. If your forehead isn't touching yet, open your legs more and more, more and more. Roll forward, chin forward, keep pulling. First your legs stretching, and hips stretching, then your lower back, your upper back, eventually. Whole body should be stretching 360 degree angles inside out bones to the skin coccyx of the neck spine straight your forehead on the floor between your feet roll forward more forward chin forward touch your forehead to the floor inhale breathing and gently come up right foot back to the place arms down by your side relax second set feet together nicely arms over the head sideways right leg steps to the right big step four feet minimum over your towel now, if, you, if your head is far from the floor, take a bigger step. Your head touched easy, smaller step. Heels in one line, a little bit pigeon toe your feet, arms parallel. Suck your stomach in. Exhale, breathing. Slowly bend your upper body down. As you go down, keep your chin up, looking in the mirror. Grab your heels from the outside. Step on all five fingers of each hand. Thumb should be with the index fingers. As a beginner, if you can't grab the heels, grab the outside of your feet, step on all five fingers, thumbs with the index fingers. Make sure your knees are locked. Pull on your heels as hard as possible. Chin up. Roll forward like a wheel. Try to touch your forehead on the floor in between your feet. If your forehead's not touching, open your legs more and more. More and more. Now bend your elbows as well. That's good. Yes, you're forward enough. Bend your elbows and stretch your lower back, your upper back. Create a 360 degree angle stretch, coccyx of the neck, coccyx of the toes, spine straight forward on the floor between your feet. Inhale, breathing, and gently come up. Right foot comes back to the place. Arms down by your side. Great. Excellent. You want a little water before triangle? Have a little water before triangle. Starting in at the left side of your towel, everyone, for triangle pose, Trikonasana, feet together nicely. Everyone together, arms over the head sideways, right leg step to the right, big step, four feet minimum over the towel, immediately arms parallel to the floor, step all the way off the towel, straddle it, straddle it, yes. Palms uh, down, look in the front mirror, push your hips forward, body back. Turn your right foot out to the right, all the way, half an inch more, get it parallel to the front mirror, your two heels should be in one line. Inhale, breathing, bend your right knee, sit down, bounce, 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 down a couple of times to get your right thigh parallel to the floor. Your right leg should look like an upside down letter L in the front mirror. Don't let your hips come up anymore, stay down there. Again, hips forward, arms back, lean back, spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing, move your both arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of your right knee, bring your hand down, put your fingertips between the big toe, second toe. Don't touch the floor in a way to pressure on your fingers against the floor. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your left shoulder, get the profile of your face exactly visible in the front mirror. Take a deep breath, continuously stretch your left arm up, right arm down, left arm up, and other other words, both arms, shoulders should be stretching each other up and down equal opposite directions like a natural human traction. Push your left hip forward, same time use your right elbow, push your right knee back, touch your toes, twist your upper body back with the spine twist posture, keep your left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. Turn your right toes in, turn your left toes all the way out, half an inch more, parallel to the front mirror, two heels should still be in one line. Inhale, breathing, bend your left knee, sit down, bounce down, 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 and get your left thigh parallel, look in the front mirror, it should look like an upside down letter L. Hips forward, both arms back, especially that right arm for you there. Yes, inhale, breathing, now go, move your both arms at the same time. Bring your left elbow in front of your left knee, bring your hand down, put your fingertips between the big toe, second toe, no way to pressure on your fingers against the floor. Now look up to the ceiling, touch your chin, to your 
right shoulder profile of your face visible. Deep breath, right arm stretch up like you're gonna touch the ceiling, left arm down, touch the toes, right arm up harder, stretch your arms, stretch your shoulders up and down opposite directions. Push your right hip forward and your left knee back with your left elbow, twist your upper body back, keep your right knee off, right foot flat. Inhale, breathing, thumb up. Turn your left toes in, right foot comes back to the place, arms down by your side, relax, breathing normal. Not too many more here standing up. We're gonna be doing the rest of the class pretty soon, all on the mat, and we're gonna take breaks in between, so hang in there and do it great. All right, second set, feet together, arms over the head sideways, right leg steps to the right, big step, four feet minimum over your towel, immediately arms parallel to the floor, palms face down. Hips forward, body. Turn your right foot out, get it parallel to the front mirror. Keep looking in the front mirror. Inhale, bend your right knee, and sit down, bounce, 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 to get your right thigh parallel to the floor. Bring this arm back. There you go, now your spine straight in the center. Sit down a little bit more, hold it. Inhale, breathing, move your both arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Quick stretch out, touch your toes, no one touch the floor, no weight or pressure. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your left shoulder, get your left arm a little bit closer to your head. Now stretch your left arm up more, right arm down. Twist your upper body back, keep your left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. Turn your right toes in, turn your left toes all the way out, half an inch more, parallel to the front mirror. Two heels should be in one line, yes. Inhale, now bend your right knee, the left knee and sit down, bounce down, 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 stay down there, left thigh parallel, hips forward, inhale, move your both arms at the same time. Put your left elbow in front of your left knee, bring your hand down, touch your toes. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your right shoulder. Now stretch your right arm up harder, stretch up. That's it, Karen, push your Left knee back into right hip forward. Twist your upper body back. Keep your right knee locked, right foot flat. Inhale, breathing, come on up. Left foot in, right foot back to the place. Arms down by your side. Relax. Gonna get the heart rate down again. Some oxygen to your brain. You're gonna feel better standing. Separate leg, head to knee pose. Dande Mana Vibhak, Padajani Shurasana. Arms over the head, sideways only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling to make sure your elbows are locked up. Posture and gap between your arms and the head, chin up, body back. Right leg steps to the right, a big step, 36 inches, three feet over your toe. Turn 180 degree angle to the right. Push your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Beyond your flexibility, go hips in one line, let's break. Backside foot should be 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Touch your exactly forehead to the knee. Bend your front knee a little bit if the forehead and the knee aren't touching yet. You must get the forehead to the knee. Continuously stretch your hands forward, beyond your toes, elbows locked, arms straight position. Push your hands against the floor to help you get your front knee locked. Suck your stomach in, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Get maximum weight to your front leg and get your right hip up, both hips in one line. Lock the front knee very quick, couple of times, and slowly come up, arms and head together. Turn to the front, turn 185 degrees to the left, push your right hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times, both hips in one line, backside foot, should be 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing, and you go down, arms and head together, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee, good, nice going slow. Now bend your front knee if the forehead's not touching. It's more important to get the forehead to the knee to get the compression than it is stretching. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes, elbows locked, arms straight. Stretch your arms forward even more, hands forward more, shoulders hurt, scapula coming out of the body and push against the floor to help you get the front knee locked. Keep your back leg locked, back heel flat, maximum weight into your front leg to get your left hip up, both hips in one line. Lock the knee very quick, couple of times, gently come up with your arms and head together. Yes, that's a good alignment, Tracy. Turn to the front, right foot, arms down by your side. Second set, feet together nicely. Arms over the head, sideways only, cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. There should be no gap between the arms and the head. Chin up, body back. Right leg steps to the right, three feet distance over your towel. And turn to the right, 180 degrees. Push your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Keep the left hip forward. Back side foot should be 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathe in and slowly go down. Arms and head together. Start with the chin against your chest. Chin against the chest, throat choke sensation from the start to the finish, good for thyroid, parathyroid gland, that's your weight, meta uh, weight metabolism, calcium levels in the body. Stretch your arms forward, elbows locked, arms straight, push your hands against the floor. Suck your stomach in, keep your throat choke, eyes open, breathing normal. Lock the front knee very quick, couple of times, come up, arms and head together. Turn to the front. Front 185 degree angle to the left, push your right hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. 
lock your elbows, tuck your chin to your chest, exhale breathing and you go down. Throat choke sensation throughout the posture. Compressive, compression of 14 major internal organs. Bend your knee to make sure, if you need to, to get the forehead to the knee. Keep your back leg locked, back heel flat, stretch your hands forward. You stretch your hands forward, keep your elbows locked, arms straight, that's the extension of the kidneys. Now suck your stomach in, compression of the pancreas. Perfect marriage between these two organs makes it the best posture for diabetes. Lock the knee very quick, couple of times, gently come up, arms in here together. Turn to the front, right foot comes back, arms down by your side. Two more standing series, come back to the middle of the towel, toes and heels together nicely at the line, in one line. Tree pose, Tadasana. Feet together nicely. Focus, one spot in the front mirror. Grab your right foot from underneath with your left hand. Right leg lifts up all the way. Heel of your foot to your costume. Sole of your foot should be facing the ceiling. Be careful of your right knee. Gently let your right knee come down. Continuously push your hips forward as you gently push your right knee back. Open your hips, open your pelvis. Try and get your both knees exactly in one line from the side. Same principle like triangle posture. Continuously stretch your spine up to the ceiling, stomach in. Both hips in one line, both shoulders in one line. Bring your right hand in the middle of your chest. You can balance there. Left hand up. If your foot slips, hold it. Keep your left knee locked. Thigh contraction, eyes open. Breathing normal balance there. Change. Right leg down, arms down, feet together. Left side. Focus one spot in the front mirror. Grab your left foot from underneath with your right hand. Left leg lifts up all the way. Put the heel of your foot onto your costume. Sole of your foot facing the ceiling. Carefully and gently let your left knee come down. Push your hips forward, push your left knee back. Open your pelvis, try and get your both knees in one line from the side. Continuously stretch your spine up. Suck your stomach in. More hips forward, body back a couple of inches. Now, left hand up. You can balance your right hand up if your foot slips, hold it. Keep your right knee locked. Thigh contraction, eyes open, breathing normal. Balance there. Change, left leg down, arms down. Last one, toe stand pose, Padrasasana. Look at the floor, one spot, four feet in front of you. Don't move your eyes, don't blink your eyes. Bring your right leg to the middle of your thigh or wherever is comfortable for you. Palms together, namaskar position. Very slowly bend your upper body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Touch your both hands, all 10 fingers on the floor in front of you. Bend your knee, bring your hips down. Sit down. Balance on your heel. That's great. Just as far as you can go today for being normal. Bring your hands next to your hips, balancing on your fingertips. Continuously stretch your spine up to the ceiling, stomach in. Both knees in one line parallel to the floor, keep focusing on the floor in front of you. Bring your left hand to the middle of your chest, you can balance there, right hand up, and hips up, stretch up, balance there. Change, slowly come up, put your hands on the floor in front of you, come up exactly the opposite way you went down. Right leg down, arms down, feet together. Left side, focus one spot, four feet in front of you, and bring your left leg to the middle of your thigh, wherever it feels comfortable. Palms together, come to start position. Very slowly, bend your upper body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Put your both hands, all ten fingers on the floor in front of you. Bend your knee, bring your hips down, sit down, balance on your heel. Bring your hands next to your hips. Balance on your fingertips. Continuously stretch your spine up to the ceiling, stomach in, both knees in one line parallel to the floor. Keep focusing on the floor in front of you. Bring your left hand to the middle of your chest. You can balance there, right hand up. Stretch up, hips up, balance there. Change, come up, put your hands on the floor in front of you. Come up exactly the opposite way you went down. Good effort, left leg down, arms down. It is time for Savasana. Turn around, everybody lie down on your back. You're going to rest and relax for two minutes. You're doing great. Feet facing the back wall. Relax completely. Keep your legs straight. Bring your heels together. Let your feet roll open. Arms on the towel close to your body. Palms face up, head straight, eyes always open, breathing always normal, don't move, enjoy your savasana.
Begin the floor series, please, with wind removing pose, Papamukasana, right leg lifts up all the way, grab your right leg exactly two inches below the knee, interlocked grip, nice and tight. Grab over the leg and below the knee, and pull your right knee down towards your right shoulder all the way, completely avoid the rib cage, left leg, straight calf muscle on the floor, flex your foot if your leg's coming off the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest, get the back of your neck on the floor, no gap underneath, your both shoulders on the floor, nice and relaxed position. Elbows close to your body. You gotta pull down much more. Pull harder. Make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Hold it there. Don't move. Don't blink. Freeze. Change. Right leg down. Arms down. Left leg up. Grab your left leg just below the knee. Inner lock up nice and tight. Pull your left knee down towards your left shoulder all the way. Completely avoid your ribcage. Right leg straight. Flex your foot if your leg's coming off the floor. Otherwise, both feet nice and relaxed position. Tuck your chin. Get the back of your neck on the floor. Keep your both shoulders on the floor this side, right shoulder down. Bend your elbows, pull more, pull harder. Your hip joint's supposed to hurt. Maximum pressure in your lower abdomen, freeze it there. Change, left leg down, arms down. Immediately, both legs lift up. And grab your elbows, each other, a couple of inches below the knees, if possible. Hold it with a nice and tight grip, compact. Feet relaxed, position side by side. And bring your head to the floor, tuck your chin, try and get the back of your neck on the floor. Absolutely freeze there, hold it, don't move or blink. Eventually, or in the future, when you improve your skeletal system, your bone joints enough, then only your total spine will be flat on the floor. Change, both legs down, arms down, rest and relax. Legs straight, arms by your side, palms up. Heels together, feet roll open. Eyes open, breathe, normal. Second set, right leg up, grab your right leg just below the knee, interlock grip nice and tight. Pull the right knee down towards your right shoulder. Interlock your fingers to the webbing, thumbs included. Now pull down harder. Good, this is a perfect place to work on your grip strength for the standing head to knee. Tuck your chin down, look down, pull more. Bend your elbows, pull harder, use your biceps. Keep your left shoulder on the floor. Right side up, massaging the ascending pull and absolutely freeze it. Change, right leg down, arms down. Left leg up, grab your left leg, nice and tight grip. Pull your left knee down towards your left shoulder. Avoid your rib cage. Try and get your knee to your shoulder. Tuck your chin. Get your neck on the floor. Flex your foot if your leg's coming. Uh, if your right leg's coming off the floor. Keep your right shoulder down. Both shoulders on the floor. Elbows close to the body. Pull down harder. Left side massaging the descending colon. Absolutely freeze there. Don't move or blink. Change. Left leg down. Arms down. Immediately both legs up. Grab your elbows each other. It's cannonball style. Like when you're a little kid. Grab your elbows, tight as most compact grip you can get. Yeah, head on the floor, tuck your chin, neck on the floor. Eventually your whole spine flat on the floor. We don't improve it enough. And your both thighs up, massaging the transverse colon and balancing hydrochloric acid in your stomach, hold it there. Change, both legs down, arms down, relax. Next is a sit up. Listen carefully for the setup. Keep your heels and toes together. Flex your feet back towards your face. Arms over your head, only cross your thumbs. Legs straight, heels stay on the floor. Arms and head together. Take a deep breath, hold it and sit up. Grab your toes, forward your knees and elbows to the floor. Turn around everyone, lie on your stomach for spine strengthening series. Starting with Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. Chin out. Get your hands underneath your shoulders, very close to your chest. Fingertips in line with the tops of the shoulders, baby fingers in line with the deltoids, all five fingers together, touching each other. Distribute the body weight, all of your hands, palms equally, the same, glue it down, don't move them. Start to finish, have only one leg like a cobra. Hip and leg muscles should be solid and concrete. Knees long, toes pointed, heels together, top of the feet flat on the floor, arms touching your body, shoulders down. Look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath, and come up, please lift up. Use your 100% back strength, come up halfway until your belly button's on the floor, the rest of your upper body is in the air. Same time from the side, arms and elbows should be at a 90 degree angle like a letter L. Arms always touching your body. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips to bring your shoulders down, trapezius muscles visible in the front mirror. Look up more, lift up more, come up, lift up. Your back's supposed to hurt, chest up, freeze, change, slowly come down. Arms by your side, look to the right, relax. That's it, left ear on the towel, toes in, heels roll open, arms by your side, palms up. 
Try and rest your left ear on the towel. Put your head down. Head down if you can. Yeah, great. Second set, chin forward, get your hands in position, right underneath your shoulder, square position, not in or out, up or down. All five fingers together, body weight, all of your hands equally in the same. You have only one leg, don't open it. Heels together, top of the feet flat on the floor. Keep the knees locked, hip and leg muscles, solid concrete, one piece. Arms in, shoulders down. Look up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath, now come up, lift up, use your back strength. That's it, you can come up more, come up more. Get your chest up, your ribs up, just your belly button on the floor. So push your hands into the floor so you can come up a little bit more. Keep your legs together, heels together, that's it. Head up, look up, come up. Shoulders down, chest up, body up, lift up, your back's supposed to hurt, and hold it. Change, slowly come down. Arms by your side, look to the left, relax. Locust pose, Salabhasana, arms, straight position. Get your arms under your stomach, palms face the floor, elbows completely invisible underneath you. Good, keep them there. Now turn them over so your palms are down. Palms down. Yes, arms and elbows might hurt, it's totally normal. Separate your fingers, grab the floor with your fingertips. Baby fingers side by side, chin forward, left leg relaxed, right leg solid, one piece, point your toes, inhale, breathing slowly, gently, right leg lift up from the floor, 45 degree angle, minimum, half of 90, leg up, come up, good, Andrea, a little bit more, a little bit higher, back and elbow is supposed to hurt, leg up, change, slowly lower your right leg down, keep your chin forward, look forward, left leg, right leg relaxed, left leg solid, one piece, inhale, breathing, and your left leg comes up, come up, come up, go up. Uh, Isabel, turn your chin forward so you can look in the front mirror. There you go, leg up more. Sole of your foot should be facing the ceiling. Don't let your hip twist. Come up, come up, come up. Change, slowly lower down. Turn your head in, mouth on the towel. Now readjust your arms, get your elbows closer. Open your fingers, grab the floor with your fingertips. Full lungs, take a deep breath without bending your knees, both legs up. Come up, come up, go up, legs up, lift up, come up. Keep your knees locked, toes pointed, and struggle harder. Don't give up, keep your head down, mouth down, legs up, legs up. Change, slowly come down. Bring your arms out, look to the right, rest and relax, Savasana. Second set, arms straight position, get your arms under your stomach, palms face the floor, elbows completely invisible underneath you. Volunteer yourself for a little bit of pain now so you don't have a lot of pain later. Separate your fingers, grab the floor, chin forward, left leg relaxed, right leg solid, one piece, point your toes, inhale, breathing in, right leg comes up from the floor, come up, come up, go up. Keep your chin forward, leg up, lift up, sole of your foot should face the ceiling, don't let your hip twist, come up, lift up and slowly lower your right leg down. Relax it, completely relax your right leg. Lock your left leg, inhale, breathing, left leg up. Come up, go up. Keep the knee long, now point your toes. Point your toes to the back wall, stretch your leg back. Now leg up more, lift up more, couple of inches. Slowly lower your left leg down. Turn your head in, mouth on the tail. Open your fingers, grab the floor. Keep your mouth down. Take a deep breath without bending your knees. Both legs up, come up, come up, go up. Legs up, legs up. It's okay if the legs aren't high. But you gotta lock, lock the knees to this point. Keep your mouth on the tongue and legs up more and lift up more, come up more, go up a couple more inches. And slowly come down. Bring your arms out, look to the left, relax. Full of his pose, Purna Salabhasana, chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings, your palms down, five fingers together, touching each other. From start to finish, you have only one leg like a cobra, don't open it. Every muscle should be tight in contraction, make sure. Look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath, come up please, arms, head, legs, everything, lift up, come up, go up, arms up, arms up, fingertips, same level as your top of your head, 
Arms up and back, only your hip bones on the floor, rest the body in the air, look up more, lift up more, body up, body up, chest up, keep your legs together, come up, come up, and change, slowly come down. Arms by your side, look to the right, relax. So when we do the second set, everyone, be more precise with your legs. Keep the knees locked, heels together. You may not be able to come up as high, that's okay. But you will be using the proper group of muscles, mid-spine, thoracic spine. Knees bend, you're using something else, you're not getting the full benefits, all right? Second set, chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings. Stretch your arms apart. Now squeeze your legs together nice and tight. You only have one leg, don't open it. Okay, keep your legs tight. Look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath. Now come up, arms, head, legs, everything lift up. Again, re-engage, make sure your knees are locked. Toes pointed, legs together, so much better. Now arms up higher, fingertips, single level is your top of your head. Beautiful, Andre, look up more, lift up more. Body up, exhale, come up one more time. That's great, everyone, arms down by your side. Look to the left, relax. Everybody got to improve that one. And that's a good thing. That's the easiest posture in the sequence to learn. It's the hardest posture in the sequence to improve. Everybody just improved. Wonderful. Bow pose, down our asana, chin forward, hold your feet on the outside, just below your toes, all five fingers together, thumbs with the index fingers, wrist straight, toes pointed, keep six inches inside your knees, six inches inside your feet, arms and legs should look like two wheels on one base throughout the posture. Good, Jamari, now just bring your hands to the outsides of your feet, yeah, got it. Inhale, breathing, slowly, gently, both legs kick up, look up, kick up, keep your legs behind you. Look up continuously, keep kicking, roll forward, more forward until your toes are in the center from the side. Head up, more wrist straight, more, keep your knees in, point your toes. Head up, look up, kick more, kick harder, roll forward, kick up one more time. And slowly come down, arms and legs down, look to the right, rest and relax, Savasana. Second set, chin forward. Uh, hold your feet from the outside, just below your toes. Five fingers together, thumb should be with the index fingers. Wrist straight, toes pointed. Six inches between the knees, six inches inside your feet. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, both legs up. Look up, kick up, kick your legs up. Kick up without stopping, without intermission, you gotta kick hard. Now roll forward, stay forward, get your toes in the center from the side. Head up, head up, wrist straight, kick up. Now look up, kick up. Roll forward again, stay forward, kick up, kick harder, kick up one more time and change, slowly come down. Arms and legs down, look to the left, relax. Arms by your side. All right, spine strengthener is done for the day. Now we're gonna start working very deep into the joints, specifically knees, ankles, internal, or, uh, they're not joints there, but also working deep into your internal organs. So listen carefully these last few postures. Your body's very warm, prepared. You should go as far as you can while breathing normal. So if something hurts, do less, breathe more, See how it goes. Come on up to the top of the towel, everyone. Kneel down position, Japanese style. Supervajrasana, fix firm pose. Listen carefully for your alignment. Start with your knees and feet together. Open your feet. Sit between your heels. Throughout the posture, heels touching your hips. Hips on the floor, heels hit, uh, touching your hips. Now, if your knees or your feet hurt, or as a beginner, open your knees. Bring your hands to your feet, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Touch your right elbow to the floor, your left elbow to the floor, one by one. 
Touch your head on the floor, shoulders on the floor. Open your feet more. What hurts? The ankles? Oh, yes. <laughs> you know that it's okay if you can go step by step and breathe normal. So this may be it today. Yeah, your hands are what are going to take the pressure for you. How are you doing, Jamari? Where are you headed? Where are you going? Okay, so I want to make sure you're okay. Change and come up. Put your hands on your feet with the help of your elbows. Come up. Turn around. Lie down. Rest and relax. Savasana. Yep, that's a good start right there. And relax. All right, let's do that one again. Heels and toes together, flex your feet, arms up, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Come back to the top of the towel, start again. Knees and feet together. Open your feet. Sit between your heels. Heels must touch your hips. If your knees hurt, your feet hurt, open up your knees. Put your hands on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Touch your right elbow, touch your left elbow, touch your head, back of your head, shoulders on the floor, whole upper body on the floor, relaxed position, arms over your head, grab your elbows, pull your elbows down towards the floor, tuck your chin to your chest, take a deep breath, lift your chest and stomach up towards the ceiling, create a perfect human bridge. Eventually you can bring your knees together, don't let them come off the floor, lift your chest up higher, it's good for the spleen, lymphatic system, your immune system, keep your eyes open, chest up higher, change, come up, put your hands back on your feet with your elbows, push up. Turn around, lie down, relax. Heels and toes together, flex your feet, arms up, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Come to the middle of the towel, everyone. Kneel down, hips on your heels, tops of the feet flat, no gap underneath your ankles, perhaps tortoise pose, or kamasana. Try and keep your hips on your heels. Now, arms over the head, sideways, only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, elbows locked throughout the posture, no gap between arms and head, chin up. Suck your stomach in, exhale, breathing, and slowly you go down, front side, chin up, look forward, touch your forehead to the floor, baby fingers on the floor, the rest of your arms in the air. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror, elbows locked, palms together, elbows locked. Scapula coming out of the body, shoulders are supposed to hurt, chin away from the chest, eyes open, breathe normal, stretch forward more. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together. Arms down, turn around, relax. Heels and toes together, flex your feet, arms up, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, forward your knees, elbows to the floor. And turn around, come back to the middle of the towel. Second set with your hips on your heels, no gap underneath your ankles. Bring your arms over the head sideways, thumbs crossed, stretch up. No gap between the arms and the head. Keep the stretch, suck your stomach in, exhale breathing, and go down. Just like balancing stick, you keep your arms and head together. Chin away from the chest. Touch your forward on the floor, baby fingers on the floor, rest of the arms in the air. Stretch your arms more forward, elbows locked, chin away from the chest, eyes open, breathing normal. Get your forehead to the floor. It's good for the sleep-wake cycle, balancing out hormones of sleep-wake, serotonin, melatonin, stretch more, stretch harder. Change, come up, arms and head together.
Arms down, turn around, rest and relax, Savasana. Heels and toes together, flex your feet, arms up, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, everyone, come to the top of the towel for camel pose, Ustrasana. Listen carefully, do it together, word by word. Don't go before, don't go after. Stand up on your knees with six inches inside your knees, uh, between your legs, inside your knees and your feet. Put your hands on your hips, fingers towards the floor, thumbs outside. Push your hips forward towards me as far as possible. Drop your head back all the way. Go back halfway, stop in the middle. Grab your right heel with your right hand, fingers and thumb out. Left heel with your left hand, fingers inside, thumb outside, full palm grip. Eyes open, take a deep breath. Exhale, breathing, push stomach. Thighs, hips, everything forward towards mirror. Continuously keep pushing on 360 degree angle back or bend for gravitation. Your back's supposed to hurt. Push forward more, push forward. To come up, put your hands on your hips. Push your hips more forward, chest up, spine straight, stop in the middle. Turn around, lay down, relax. Second set, feet together, arms over your head, thumbs cross. Arms and head together, take a deep breath, hold it, sit up, double exhale, forward to your knees. And turn around, come back to the top of the towel. Second, uh, yeah, second set, stand up on your knees. This time, open your knees eight inches and six inches between your feet. Hands back on your hips, fingers towards the floor, thumbs outside. Push your hips forward towards me as far as possible. Drop your head back all the way, keep your eyes open. Go back halfway, stop in the middle. Grab your right heel with your right hand, left heel, left hand, fingers inside, thumbs outside, full palm grip, don't lose the grip. Yep, you can keep your hands on your hips for now, it's fine. Drop your head all the way back, take a deep breath, exhale, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward towards the mirror, continuously keep pushing. Your back's the close to her. I want a 360 degree angle, backward bend for gravitation, push your hips forward more, push. Take them up, put your hands back on your hips, push more forward, chest up, spine up, stop in the middle. Turn around, lie down, relax. Heels and toes together, flex your feet, arms up, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Um, come to the middle of your towel, everyone. Kneel down position, Japanese style, for the rabbit pose, sasangasana. Bring the towel over your heels, hold onto your heels over the towel, fingers on the inside, thumbs on the outside, don't lose the grip. Hold on your heels as hard as possible. Tuck your chin to your chest, keep it there. Eyes open, exhale, breathing in, you go down front side. Touch your forehead to your knees, automatically top of your head on the floor. Lift your hips up all the way, roll forward like a wheel until your elbows are locked, your arms are straight position. If there's a gap between your knees and head, walk your knees up one by one. Hips up, roll forward, pull harder. Your whole spine should be stretching from the top to the bottom. Neck may hurt a little bit. Pull more, pull harder, hips up. Change, slowly come up. Turn around, lie down, rest and relax. All right, Isabel, I hope you at least have a really good story for the ankle and the knee. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> you what? Oh man, it's such a bummer, right? I rolled my ankle in Spain, learning to rock climb. That was great, right? Recently, I threw my back out picking up a case of water. Not a good story, right? I know, I need to make up a better story. So if you're gonna hurt yourself, you guys, it's gonna happen. That's life, anything you do, enough. Something's gonna happen. Even if you're walking down the street, you step off a curb wrong. You're not gonna stop just stepping off curbs. Just gonna be more mindful. But at least come up with a good story. Laundry hurt your back doing laundry. Seriously, it's always stupid stuff like that. Way better stories. Heels and toes together. Flex your feet, arms up, thumbs cross. Inhale, breathing. Sit up. Forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. <laughs> Turn around. Come back to the middle of the towel. Kneel down position, Japanese style. Bring the towel back over your heels. Hold on to your heels over the towel. The good thing is that's what the yoga is for. It helps you to rest and recover and repair from all that kind of stuff from life and laundry. <laughs> In cases of water. Hold on to your heels, fingers and thumbs out. Tuck your chin to your chest, eyes open. Exhale, breathing, go down. Forehead to your knees, top of your head on the floor. And lift your hips up, roll forward. Maximum extension of the spine. How do you do that? Pull harder on your heels and lift your hips up more. Roll forward more. It's pretty easy to stretch the upper back, the middle back. Yeah, pull hard and roll forward more to get into the lower back. Suck your stomach in, hips up. Try and get your thighs perpendicular to the floor. Pull harder. Change, come up. Turn around, lie down. Rest and relax, Savasana. Heels and toes together, flex your feet, arms up, cross thumbs, inhale, hold the breathing quickly, sit up, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Face in front of the room, please, for head to knee with stretching pose, Johnny Sarasana with Vashamottanasana. Bring your right leg out, corner leg, bend your left leg so your heel touches your costume, create pressure with your left foot sole against the right leg, thigh bicep muscle, 90 degree angle between your legs like the letter L. Arms over the head sideways. Turn to the right, grab your right foot a couple of inches below the toes, interlock fingers. Flex your foot back towards your face to get your heel off the floor in the air. Tuck your chin to your chest, just like rabbit, touch your forehead to your knee. Bend your knee off the floor if your forehead and your knee aren't touching, you must touch your forehead to the knee. Push your knee down with the help of your forehead. Now bend your elbows next to your calf. Bring your left elbow down, your shoulder down, try and get your left knee on the floor, roll into the left, suck your stomach in, head higher on your thigh, roll in more, roll in, change, come up. Bring your left leg out corner-wise, bend your right leg, create pressure with your right foot, so we'll get your left thigh muscle, bicep muscle. Turn and grab your left foot, same position, like standing head to knee, you get to practice right here. All 10 fingers under your foot, flex your foot back, toes back, heel off the floor in the air, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your forehead to your knee, bend your knee if it's not touching. Now, use your head like leverage to help gently, Continuously pushing you down. Keep flexing your toes back towards your face. Stretch your Achilles tendon above the heel. Bend your elbows down next to your calf. Right elbow down. Get the right shoulder down. Try and get your right knee on the floor. Roll in, roll in. Stomach in, head higher on your thigh. Change. Come up. Both legs down. Lie on your back. Inhale, breathing very quickly. Sit up. Grab your toes over the top with your first two fingers between your first two toes. Flex your feet back towards your face and walk your hips back. Right and left, right and left, 10 to 15 times. Try to get your both knees locked, no knees. Keep your feet together, flex all 10 toes back towards your face and get your heels off the floor in the air. Inhale, breathing and stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Chin up, look forward, stretch your body forward, stomach over the thighs. Now if your knees are locked, bend your elbows down towards the floor. Get your elbows next to your calves. Good, knees locked, bring your body down, stomach thighs, chest to the knees, the goals touch your head to your feet, pull more, stretch forward more, pull harder. Change, come up, turn around, lie down, relax. Second set, feet together, arms over the head, keep your uh, 
uh, arms and head together, heels on the ground, legs straight. Inhale, hold the breathing, sit up, forward your knees, elbows to the floor, face in front of the room, second set, head to knee with stretching, right leg out corner-wise, bend your left leg, create pressure with your left foot against your right thigh, the from massaging that synthetic glance. Arms over the head sideways, turn, grab your right foot a couple inches below toes, Flex your foot back, get your heel off the floor in the air. Tuck your chin to your chest, set your forehead. Push your knee down with your forehead. Try and get your legs straight. Legs straight, lock the knee. Toes back, heel up. Bend your elbows next to your calves. Roll into the left, roll in, roll in. Stomach in, head higher on your thigh. Change, come up. And left leg out, right leg in. Turn, grab your left foot, couple of inches below the toes. Same fingers should be in the lock. Flex your foot to get your heel off the floor in the air. Tuck your chin to your chest. Touch your forehead to your knee. Push your knee down with your forehead. Use your head is leverage, so push your knee down. That's it. Now flex your foot back. Flex your toes back. Stretch your Achilles tendon. Try and get your heel off the floor in the air. Change. Come up. Both legs out. Lie on your back. Inhale, breathing very quickly. Sit up. Double exhale. Grab your toes over the top with your index and middle fingers. Flex your feet back towards your face and walk your hips back. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Kind of 15 times to get your both knees locked. No knees. Keep your feet together. Flex all 10 toes back. Try and get your heels off the floor in the air. Chin up, look forward. Inhale, breathing. Stretch your body forward for the lower spine. Look forward, stretch forward. If the knees bend, walk the hips back again. Open through the legs, the hips, the lower back. Your knees are locked. Bend your elbows. Stretch more forward. Look forward. Bring your body down. Try and touch your head to your feet. Go forward, stretch forward, stretch. Change. Come up. Turn around, lay down, relax. Feet together, arms over the head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together, inhale, sit up. Half spine twist, start a Matsandrasana, turn and face the left side mirror. Bend your left knee on the floor in front of you. Left knee points to the left side mirror, right in front of you. Bring your right heel over your left knee, right heel to touch your left knee, right foot flat on the floor. Sit on your both hips evenly, comfortably to keep your spine straight for a particular 90 degree angle. Bring your left arm over your right knee. With the help of your elbow, push your knee out of the way. Now look down, turn your wrist, grab the left knee in front of you. Hand, heel, knee, everything should be in the same spot on the floor in front of you. If you're holding your knee, bring your right arm off the floor, palm facing out, grab your inner thigh behind you, palm out. Try and grab it with your fingertips. Take a deep breath, chest up, stomach in. Otherwise, you keep your hand on the floor. Chin over your shoulder, look back. Open your chest and your ribs. Total spine should be twisting from top to bottom like a pearl necklace. Twist more. Change. Shift your legs. Bend your right knee on the floor in front of you. Right knee points to the left side mirror. Bring your left heel over your right knee. Put your left heel in front of your right knee, left foot flat on the floor. Bring your right heel so you're not sitting on it. Point your left toes, right heel should be touching your left hip. Sit on your hips to keep your spine straight. Bring your right arm over your left knee. Push your knee out of the way. Use your elbow. Push your knee back as hard as you can. Look down in front of you, turn your wrist, try to grab the knee in front of you with your right hand. If you're holding your knee, bring your left arm off the floor, palm out, grab the inner thigh behind you. Otherwise, put your left hand on the floor at the base of your spine, palm down, fingers point, to the back wall. Yes, now push against the floor. Chest up, spine straight, open your chest, open your ribs, stomach in and chin over your left shoulder. Look over your shoulder, twist your spine from the top to bottom. The joints of each and every vertebra cartilage of your spine should be twisting like a pearl necklace. Look back, twist. Last chance, twist. Change, turn around, lie down, rest and relax. Really nice.
Heels and toes together, flex your feet, arms up, thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, down forward, your knees, elbows to the floor. All right, everyone, let's finish with the final breathing exercise. Couple of body in Vajrasana, blowing in firm pose, kneel down position. So we start class with the breathing exercise for your lungs and respiratory system. We finish class with the breathing exercise. It's to massage your internal uh, organs, tone the abdominal wall, and it proves digestion and elimination. It's an exhale only. Inhale will happen automatically. Look, uh, no inhale, only exhale. Keep your palms flat, lock the elbows. Spine straight, stomach completely relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Ready, begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Second set. Keep your palms flat, lock your elbows, spine straight, shoulders relaxed. Start again. Exhale forcefully through the mouth. Five, four, three, two. Jamari, congratulations to you. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Everyone rest and relax a bit. Lie down, lie how you're comfortable. Give yourself a few minutes to allow your body to start to come back to normal breathing pattern, lower heart rate before you get up and get on with the rest of the day. Did a wonderful thing for yourself today, coming in caring for yourself. Every time you come to class, this class addresses your entire system. Muscles, organs, glands, joints. You have 14 systems in the human body. We refresh, renew, reorganize, re-energize all 14 of them every time. Come to class often. Your yoga practice is a gift that you give yourself. If yoga class feels like a punishment, <laughs> come to class until it feels like a gift, because I promise you, with a regular, consistent yoga practice, it will. The goal of your yoga practice is to improve the quality of your life outside the yoga room. So what happens in here is what happens in here. It's really neither here nor there. You know your yoga practice is working if you're feeling good. Your life is improving the quality of your life. Maybe it's little things. You don't lose your temper. You sleep better. You're nicer. All those things start to add up. Come back within 24 to 48 hours. I'll see you soon. Namaste. Namaste.